Regardless if it's a bummer kid, I'm gonna be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, PC's beer reviews, PC's beer reviews, PC's beer reviews. What's your boy PC? Well, it's another episode of the PC's beer reviews. Well, since we're it's summertime and we're starting to get towards the end of summer, I know a lot of schools are starting up. Was next week? So last hurrah for. The parents, and I think I got one for that here, and it's Dogfish Heads Citrus Squall Imperial Golden Ale. <laughs> and that's what I got today by the Dogfish Head. I'm going to let this breathe a little bit. Smelling good so far. And yeah, yeah, that's golden color, all right. Nice white hair. Yeah, looking nice, looking good. All right, well, I'll let that sit there. And I'll give you the rundown on what's what with this beer or what I can find out. Okay, now this comes at you with an 8.0 ABV and a 10 IBU. Okay, now the taste profile or what you're going to be tasting on here, according to Untapped, is grapefruit, juicy, lime, tequila, full body. Okay, that's how they're describing it. Or, uh, yeah. And now, this is a double, uh, a double gold nail, a Paloma cocktail. Now, a Paloma cocktail involves grapefruit flavored soda or squirt pop i'm assuming i don't know what else other grapefruit uh pop is out there i don't know uh and lime juice and tequila and that's uh a paloma cocktail at first i thought it was a tequila sunrise but that was something else now uh <clears throat> now with this they say they got grapefruit juice blue agave nectar lime peel and a touch of salt with this okay so it's a gold nail plus the grapefruit juice blue agave nectar lime peel touch of salt so that's what we got going on in here my dogfish head now they had over three thousand check-ins on untap okay so yeah and a lot of them, a lot of people I know reviewed this beer already to myself. So uh, I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to go. Yeah, enough of the jibber. Cheers, everybody. That's nice. Okay, yeah, it's light body for sure. Almost, almost to the point of being watered down. Get that sweetness in there. Definitely getting the grapefruit. Now, I'm not much of a tequila fan, or I don't drink tequila that much, so it's kind of hard for me to pick it out. So, but I'm assuming it's there. I'm definitely getting the lime. Salt. I'm assuming it's there because it's a bit bitter. I'm guessing that's the salt. It's actually decent. Nothing, I mean, it's something I wouldn't pick up on a normal basis, no. But if I had to give it a grade just on, you know, it being summertime and it being the way it is, I would have to give this one an 8 out of 10. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I don't prefer it. Now, I know probably most people will give this a higher grade, so, hey, that's fine. That's just how I see this beer, you know. So, an 8 ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. So, an 8 ain't bad, for real. Well, like I've said, hey, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, secure. And I'll check you out next time here on the next BC's Beer Reads. Thank you.